What's up everyone, Dave from Dave's TV. Welcome to the channel, welcome to the man cave. We got a beer review coming up and you know what kind of beer review we're about to do. Before we get to that, subscribe to the channel, like, share, and comment. Really need you to hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. It's free, it's free. So stay tuned for this beer review. You're watching Dave's TV. And now to Dave in his man cave. Take it away, Dave. Welcome back, everyone. Dave from Dave's TV. Welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to the man cave. As you can see, I have a variety pack. So we're going to review all these except for one. The This is all from Samuel Adams. I think it's called their game day variety pack. And I've already reviewed Samuel Adams Boston Lager twice. I did one a regular video last year. Just recently did a short on that also. So we have the Golden Pilsner, the Gold Snap, excuse me, Cold Snap, and Alpine Lager. So let's get to it. So this is their Golden Pilsner. Make sure all that dust is out of there. Okay. It's got a nice, nice gold color. Got great carbonation going up. Hard poured it, heads already went down. Very light gold color. Looks really crisp and clean. Let's put a nose on it. Says everyone at Sam Adams knows that David, our master brewery, nice name David, um, for over 30 years it was obsessed with classic lagers developed by our Boston brewers as an ode to him. Golden Pilsner is a classic Pilsner with a clean finish that you can enjoy anywhere. Cheers. Okay. ABV on this is 5%. Getting kind of a, a biscuity smell to it and a little bit of a hoppiness. Other than that, it's, it's got a you know it's got a great lager pilsner smell to it. Not much else on the nose, so let's try it out. Cheers, everyone. Okay, very light, crisp, clean. Um, got that biscuity taste to it, like a bready, um, a little bit of bitterness on the back end to complement it. It's not a bad taste in Pilsner. Um, that's about all I'm getting. Obviously, don't taste the alcohol in it. So, as of right now, this is an okay Pilsner. As of right now, out of the four, I'm gonna go with Boston Lager first, Pilsner second. So let's get on to the cold snap. Um, that's what it looks like. 5.3% ABV, and it says cold snap, unfiltered and lively, this crisp white ale gets a kick from a bright blend of smooth spring spices. Hmm, okay, well let's try it out. Four. Okay, kind of it's kind of cloudy. Uh, really, really light yellow looking look to it. Um, the head dissipated on it pretty quickly. Um, let's put a nose on it. Definitely get some kind of spice in there. I'm not sure what it is. About all I'm getting is a real light spice smell to it. I'm not sure what it is. Um, let's go ahead and get to the taste of it. Cheers, everyone. One more. I 
I'm not getting much flavor on this. I'm getting some kind of spice. Not sure what it is. It doesn't really say what it's made with. Okay, yes it does. It says all ale brewed with clementine infused orange peel and spices added, but it doesn't say what kind of spices. Let me get another sip. I am getting a little bit of a citrus. It's not bad tasting. It's just not very strong on the taste. It's not bad. It's not bad. So I'm still going with the Boston Lager first, Pilsner second. Breaks me to say that. And this Cold Snap L third. So let's get on to the Alpine Lager. The Alpine Lager is 5.5% ABV. It says 18 IBUs on here. Oh, this one had 10. This one had 32. And I would agree with that. So 32, 10, and 18 on the Alpine Lager. Brisk and smooth. Hazy and golden. This unfiltered lager is a breath of fresh air. The crisp maltiness and lively citrus notes transport you to your brisk sunny days out in the mountains. Definitely all pretty carbonated. Um, very light bodied on that one. And a cold snap, I would say a medium body. Alrighty. Uh, light gold color. I can see the carbonation going up. Heads dissipating pretty quick. Um, a little hazy, not much. So let's put a nose on it. Hmm. Not much on the nose. Maybe a little bit of a um, breadiness to it. It is a lager. So it's light citrus notes. Not getting much on the aroma. Almost kind of have a sweet smell to it. But that's about it. Let's give it a try. Cheers, everyone. Okay, that's a weird tasting lager. Getting a hint of the citrus. Definitely getting some malt maltiness in there. A little bit of bitterness on the back end. Carbonation is about a medium. Body is about a medium. Other than that, that's all I'm getting. I am getting a little bit of a citrus note to it. Um, it's got a pretty good flavor, man. I think this is going to beat the Pilsner, but not the lager, Boston Lager. Um, so you're getting a little bit of that citrus. You're getting a little bit of um, maltiness on there. Great carbonation. Um, on the back end, you get a little bit of bitterness. It's only 18 IBUs. Just to compliment it. Um, it's not bad. Um, out of all of these, I'll definitely drink them again. I don't know if I'd buy them again. Uh, Boston Lager, I'd probably buy again. Um, but the other one's probably not. Um, overall, it's not a bad variety pack. Um, I'm gonna rate this one number one, Alpine Lager number two, and the Pilsner number three, and the Cold Staff number four. Overall, not a bad variety pack. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a thumbs up overall um hope you've enjoyed this if you've had any of these leave a comment and let me know what your thoughts are on it excuse me all of them got great carbonation 
but like I said, overall, not bad tasting beers at all. Um, like I said, I wouldn't go out of my way and buy it again, but if somebody handed me one of these, I'd definitely drink it again. Um, with that being said, I would love for you to subscribe to the channel. It's free. Um, hit that like button. A lot of people are watching my videos, but are not hitting that like button. So, and I'm not seeing the um, down button being hit either. So, um, subscribe, like, share, and comment. And uh, please drink responsibly. Don't drink and drive. And cheers, everyone. Not a bad variety pack.